Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheckIt.com doing this routine little intro thing, dealio, which I actually haven't done in about a month. So I'm sure you guys are wondering why I haven't made a tutorial in the last month or so, and that's because Eli and I have been kind of like busy with school. Like we were still getting used to like our schedules, kind of figuring out when we were or weren't busy, you know, stuff like that. But now that we're all situated, we can kind of get back on track and get the ball rolling again. But before I get into this tutorial here, I kind of want to mention a couple things, one of which is we've got this nifty little new background here. I mean, it's been on our freaking channel, or not our channel, but our website for a while. We just decided to go ahead and throw our logo on there and uh, set it as our desktop background. Nice to have a change every once in a while. Another thing I wanted to mention was that we've actually got a Facebook page now. So I'm going to put a link in the description down below, so you guys definitely should... Uh, Go ahead and check that out and like it, and that way you can you can talk to us, we can talk to you, you know, everyone goes home happy. And then another thing I wanted to mention is that we finally figured out this whole banner thing. We love subs. And we've got like 3,000 subscribers, something like that, and that's freaking awesome. But I just wanted to mention to you guys that um, it's kind of sad how little, like, you guys actually, like, give us feedback. I mean, we've got, you know, the same, you know, people here and there that say, hey, good tutorial, or I've got a question about this and that, blah, blah, blah. But there's 3,000 of you guys, and we only get, like, 50 people saying stuff. It's not hard. If you, you have the time, you know, just kind of click the like button if you like one of our tutorials. Just show us you care and, like, you actually enjoy the tutorials we make for you, and... That'll just make us feel a lot better, you know, keep us motivated and all that crap. Okay, so today we're going to go over a intermediate tutorial. And the reason it's intermediate is because it's actually going to be kind of simple, but I'm just going to go through it semi-fast. Just going to try and keep this video kind of short. Okay, so the picture that we're using today is this lovely picture of Trexton, and the reason I decided to use this picture for the effect I'm about to show you is because Trexton decided to uh, play a little bit of a trick on Eli and I, he, he wrote stuff on our car windows and stuff, and uh, this is just a good way to get some payback. What's a better way than to show an embarrassing picture of someone all over the internet? So anyway, let's go ahead and show you what the effect is going to look like. Bam. Check that out. It's got some crazy stuff going on. So obviously it's like green and weird and stuff, but what you really need to look at is how it looks up close. So let's zoom into 100%. Boom. And as you can see up close, we've got a bunch of like squares and lines that are all interconnected to make it look kind of like a circuit board kind of thing. And if you, you know, pan around, this thing is really awesome looking. I mean, all of these things are just connected in very intriguing ways, and then it just comes together to make something looking really awesome. So I'm sure you guys want to get down to business, so let's go ahead and just trash this crap right now and get down to work. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and duplicate this uh, T-Rex layer right here by hitting Control j and, you know, that's just so we can have a little bit of a backup copy just in case we, you know, screw something up. And so we're going to go to Filter, Pixelate, and we're going to go to Mosaic. And we're just going to give it a cell size of about 16. And then we're going to duplicate this layer again and then just turn that off because we're going to be needing this duplicate a little bit later. So with that, what we want to do is go ahead and go up to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges you guys are going to find that this is just going to be a crap load of filters combined together so it's really not that hard anyway so next up is to go to filter noise median and we're just going to give that a radius of about eh, two pixels and hit ok and then just go to filter next and we're going to go to other and minimum and we're just going to give that a radius of four pixels and as you can see already we're getting this kind of like a uh, set of like squares and like you know they're all just kind of random colors and stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and invert this layer by hitting Control i or Command i if you're on a Mac. And then we're just going to duplicate this again with Control j And we're just going to go up to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges. And then we're going to invert that again with Control i And we're just going to set the blend mode up here down to Screen and set the opacity to about 25%. And then go back to this uh, copy that we made earlier on in the tutorial and turn that back on. We're just going to go ahead and go to Filter, Noise, Median. 
And we're going to bump that up to about eh, 8 pixels, something like that. And we'll hit OK. And once you got that filter applied, we're just going to go to Filter, Stylize, Find Edges once again. And then we're just going to invert that like we have before with Control I, set that to Screen. And then so we've got this little circuit board thing kind of going on. Now we just need to give a little bit of color. So let's open up the adjustments panel right here and apply a hue and saturation adjustment. So we're just going to check mark the colorize and change the hue to 100 and change the saturation to 100 as well. And so as you can see, that's all there is to it. Zoom in and you've got all of your little circuit board stuff going on. And if you want, you can actually go ahead and go through this again to, you know, kind of give it a, a slightly enhanced feeling. And by that, I mean just, like, go ahead and group these together and you know, turn these things off right here. And this time around, when you make your duplicate, go ahead and give it a Gaussian blur. I'm going to set that to, like, 15 pixels or so. And then just go through the whole process again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real fast. Okay, so I went ahead and did the whole process again through the blurred version of Trexton. And so what we're going to do with this blurred version is just go ahead and group it together with Control G while having all these layers selected. We're just going to drag it above the first group that we made. Go ahead and turn that back on. Turn on that hue and saturation and just set the group 2 to screen. And if you do a little bit of a before and after, you can see that just gives it a little bit of a, a glow to it. And then, you know, zoom in and you can see that just adds more circuits all together just makes everything pop out a little bit more and make the entire picture a little bit more noticeable. So I went through that a little bit fast, but um, I think this is all for your benefit. I mean, I don't want to baby you through every single thing, you know, in these tutorials. I kind of want you to figure things out a little bit on your own, see if you can, you know, understand what I'm doing without me saying it, you know, word for word. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, feel free to leave a comment on something that I could have done a little bit differently or just anything that you think I could improve on or maybe just give me another idea for a different tutorial. Just say whatever's on your mind. And also please just like it, just like the video because that would just you know make us feel a lot better knowing that people actually like our videos. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you go to our Facebook page and like it and comment, you know, stuff like that. And we will see you next time.